guys 7724 it's been a real long time actually since the update but here's my recent new item it's a Traxxas RC 110 scale grave dirt I have the shell off right now because I was actually I got a new body for it because in the summertime I like to go outside more than be in the basement with the trains that's more of a winter and fall and early spring so now I just recently got a 1972 C10 Chevy pickup with my RC boat that I recently got too which is a Volare EP22 and I made a custom trailer for it and I'll show you that here's the truck it's on the Gravedigger chassis as you can see and then there's the boat with the custom trailer right here I painted it orange and white because I I saw in a different um, I saw one online and it looked really cool. Um, here's the shell. It's just the grave digger. This one, the grave digger goes on it right here. Um, painted it all. I think it looks really nice. It's all. And these are all stickers that came with it. You had to paint it all the windows. Um, you put special tape before you paint it. It's all really nice. And then here's my boat, my RC boat. It's a Volare. Came with an AM radio, but it had short range, so I put a Spectrum in it. Um, this has been a great boat. I've had it for about two months now. It's all real wood mahogany and a uh, fiberglass hull, along with um, a metal rudder and a plastic prop. And I'll take it off the trailer to show you. Uh, here's the custom trailer I built. Um, I got all aluminum at my hardware store. Then I took a part an old Erector set. And I custom built this trailer. It's all custom built for it. Got old tires off RC truck. A metal shish kebab rod as the axle. A uh, special um trailer hook thing that came with the rector set and I got some little work chains for something like a like a chain bracelet or something like that that I found in my basement and then these little rubber pads were along with the rector set cuz it was like a jeep with seats so these are part of it but yeah it looks great on here and um actually works great too I've actually tried it out not with this truck I had an older grave digger smaller like Toys R Us Tyco one but this is it right now. It's really nice. So now this has a lot more power to pull it. I pulled it with Grave Digger the other day. Pulls fine, so this will even add more realist, more realism to it. Um, if you're wondering how the trains are doing, the trains are doing fine actually. Here they are right here. They're doing great. Um, everything seems to be working right. Here's the coal tower, the expansion. Just put in a new roadway right there. Here's my junkyard. And then I have, I put my crashed B-17 there that I made. I bought that B-17. It was one of my first models. Didn't do too great on it, so I'm like, how about I make a scene on it? So I did. It's a really cool, all the dirt, the broken prop, little bullet holes, the crew that's inspecting it, burn holes. It's pretty cool. And then I bought a newer one that I'll probably end up hanging from the ceiling that I made even better than that one. So this is the new one. But yep, the trains are all doing good. Everything seems to be running right. Now I'll show you a little more on that truck, how it pulls backwards. And that's a really good buy if you're looking to get into the RC truck hobby. Or the RC hobby it goes over 30. You can roughly get it for around $200. It goes over 30 miles an hour. The only thing is the battery charger is takes eight hours to charge, which I found ridiculous. So I um had a, another charger for my airplanes, and I just bought an adapter cord for seven dollars, and now it charges it in 45 minutes or less. So it's really good. So here's the truck going.
But yeah, it's really good. I'll probably make a video of the boat running outside along with the trailer. So this is it for now.